short. You can take this one and drag it to the right. So you put them in the chart. And drag this. Yeah, in the corner. Yeah, to the right. Yeah. There you okay. go, we have two points, okay? So now can you select the B so that these two points are classified correctly? Uh, yeah. Okay, so what's the B? Three years So, okay, try it. Very good. Okay, now can you pick two points so that this classifier is not going to work? Both of them. Okay, so I thought the classifier is supposed to make a line between points. That's if you're in two dimensions. Mm. Right? Okay. Because mm -hmm. you have x1 and x2, right? So everything has plus one on one side of the line. Everything has plus two on the other side of the line. If you're in one dimension, you just want to classify them correctly. Okay. No, we just do x and y. So the y is the classifier and the... So, like, pick another set of two points. Okay. Like, here or something. Yeah, so try putting them. So two is minus one, or something. Okay, so zero out of the axis. Yeah, okay, two minus one, there we go. Three is minus one. Two, two of one, okay. Yeah, delete the other two points. Okay. okay. Can you pick a classifier? Try minus two point five. Okay. 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 So then I'll try another combination. Something that won't work. The whole key is you're gonna find something that doesn't work. <coughs> if you're not able to do find something that doesn't work, then you can add an extra point. You say three points. Let's try now. Three points. Okay. Very good. Can you pick a B so that both of them are classified correctly? No. Can't, oh, right? So what's the VC dimension of this classifier? How many points could you classify correctly? How many you couldn't? So what's the classifier? Do you see the mention? Is it one? Yeah. Okay. okay, so now let's do another parameter called A. Let's put it on B2. And set that to, uh, set that to like minus 10 or something. Uh, and then select the activator points in, no, in the function, the sign function. Put the, uh, you know, AX. Yes. A times X. Okay, break it down all the way. Change the minus one, that makes it a little easier. A, change A to minus one. A to minus one. So we managed to classify everything correctly, right? Okay. Put B to like zero. Okay. So change A to one. Okay, now change A back to minus one. Ah. Okay, 
Don't know any for the points. So in these questions like A is always like the the It just changes the function around. It just changes the one if you combine A X and the sine function, right? That all the A does is flips it because if you make A a ten A is ten. A is ten. Mm -hmm. Same thing, right? The only difference is if you put like put A is one and put B is five. And now put A is two. Put A is, A is three. You know. No, I don't know. It just moves it around a little bit, right? It works as a B. If it's only thing it does that's different to the B is that it flips, it flips the function. Right? Everything else you can do with a B. You know, this thing you can switch shift around with a B or an A. <coughs> okay. Right? With both of them you can switch shift, screw this thing around, right? But you can't flip it with the B alone. Yeah. Okay, so that's why the A and B has an extra reach dimension of two. So now you can do two points. Okay. Okay. But the magnitude of A doesn't matter. So if you say A is constrained to either be minus one or one, you still get a reach dimension of two. Say A is constrained to be bigger than zero. Yeah. Now you get a reach dimension of one because you cannot get it. If A has to be bigger than B. A has to be bigger than zero. Or zero. Then you get a VC dimension of one. Because if you do a one or two, you won't be able to flip the function around. Because you cannot do minus. Yeah, if you can't do minus, right, then you still get a VC dimension of one. Then A is useless. Okay. Okay. You want to do it in, try to do it in two dimensions now? Yes. Okay. So you need to add another. Uh, the x1 and the x2. Can I just do it here? Yeah. A new one. Mm -hmm. Same activator. Thing. So you need x1 and x2. Okay. And can I do y or? Do y, yeah, if you want to, yeah. And then b. And a. And same, minus five. And what is this then? The same thing. Well, though, that's that's that that becomes the key now. Okay, so you want to have x two for all different combinations of x one. Okay. So the best way to do it is to x x one to x one of uh, of um, five times two. No, no, no x one, right? In the in the a sixteen, right? Minus two. Here. Mm -hmm. And the uh, right minus two. And I'll drag it down five times, so you have about five times minus two. Okay, now do minus one. Do five times minus one. Okay, now if you select the whole thing, you should be able to do it. Select what? Now drag it down further. No, it doesn't. Okay, so do a bunch of zeros too. Like that. Yeah, five, right? Five zeros and then yeah. do five ones also. Yeah. 